put the base of the low arm of the calibration stand on a level table. Install the system on the base. Block with the screw. Install the aluminium cup in the hole of the low arm with the ball bearing. Install the pulley on the pin of the low arm. Place the balance under the calibration stand. Plug and switch the balance on. Adjust the level with the adjustable feet and make the zero. Place the tear at the middle of the balance and make the zero again. Place the weight, 510 grams on the tear and set the balance in percentage. Make the 100% on the 510 grams. Make the zero in percentage. Hook the nylon thread on the pin of the tear and get it over the pulley. Adjust the height of the whole calibration set in order to place the middle of the pulley at approximately 8 cm from the plate of the balance. Verify that the nylon thread is correctly in line. Fill the cup two-third full, about 60 milliliters, with silicon oil of 1000 mPa. Second. Install the viscometer on the arm of the calibration stand and block with the screws. Plug the RM to the electric network with a power supply box. Automatically adjust the zero by pressing the keys zero and on at the same time. Wait until the moto completely stops and until the main menu is displayed. Adjust the bub on the coupling of the viscometer. Take the cup down until the bob is completely immersed in the oil. Control the torque for temperature between 20 and 23 degrees Celsius. Select manual and confirm with E. Choose the measuring system 1-2 with the upper arrow, then confirm with E. Choose shear rate 21.2 second minus 1. Choose measuring time 0 and confirm with E. Note the torque indicated by the scale as theoretical value. Note the torque measured by the Hormat as before adjustment value. Repeat the operation for the following speed and torques. 10.6 second minus 1, 70.8 second minus 1, 106 second minus 1, 141 second minus 1, 212 second minus 1. If those values are identical to the theoretical values, plus or minus 1%, report it on the after adjustment table. If not, make the following calibration procedure. Switch the viscometer off, then switch it on again by pressing the keys E and on at the same time. Saisir votre code is displayed. For viscometers, first RM and RM100, enter the following code. Upper arrow, back arrow, lower arrow and E. For RM200 rheometer, enter 8, 4, 2, 6. The viscometer displays the calibration menu. Select Torque and validate with E. The viscometer turns at 200 RPM and displays a torque value. For modifying the value, press E and enter the value read on the balance with the upper and lower arrows on the keyboard of the RM, then confirm with E. For the RM200, use the alphanumeric keyboard to enter this value. Wait the end of calibration, then repeat the process for the second speed at 400 RPM. Enter the value entered for 200 RPM multiplied by 2, then wait the end of calibration of this second scale. Take the two black connectors of the rear of the viscometer to calibrate the temperature. 
Connect the PT100 sensor simulator on the two upper plugs with the keyboard. Select temperature 20 degrees Celsius with a lower arrow, then confirm with E. A temperature is displayed on the viscometer. If this temperature is conformed to the selected temperature, quit this menu with the upper arrow. To modify the temperature, press E and enter the simulator's value 20 degrees Celsius with the arrows of the viscometer, then confirm with E or keyboard for RM200. Select the temperature 60 degrees Celsius, then confirm with E. Repeat the same procedure by adjusting the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. Disconnect the simulator and reconnect the two black connectors. When the viscometer is correct, switch the instrument off and fill the checking report.